What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time I showed you and gave you the blueprints for the highway that we created where if you remember we actually went over all of the items in here which is blueprints and then train and I give you all of these which again are available to download for free in the discord links will be in the description so the first thing that i want to do is i want to get that highway built around this world so it's ready for our future projects uh our future supply and demand or maybe our bottled water facility which we definitely want to do at some point in here and uh yeah maybe i should look where we kind of want to put it i think i'm just going to do it as a full ring around the actual whole world itself but also, we've now got the uh, the island down here, which is now a playable area, which we can actually come down here and explore. There is nothing on this island. There's no creatures. There's no edibles or anything. Uh, but we can now actually go over there. But I'm thinking I'm still going to put the water plant over here in this water uh, section. And then I'm going to get the whole highway and take it around the coasts of the whole entire thing. And then later down the line, when need be, we will then bring trains into the central. I might do even do a split going through the middle to connect the you know just to help with some direction of where the train's gonna go and then we're gonna have like some more like vein lines going through so think of the whole outside as the arterial line for the trains and then the internal ones will be more of the veins connecting to smaller depots to come onto the highway to then move around and all that kind of good stuff so you must be wondering, Bits, why is it taking you so long to get the next YouTube video out? Well, there's been a slight little bug. You might have noticed or you might have heard about it in the recent video from Snut about the hologram bug. And what this bug was is when you use a hologram uh, or use your build tool. Oh, God. Let me do some explanation here. Whilst, whilst you're using the hologram and you're going through maybe something that you built within the blueprint, because everything's very close together, the... Um, the hologram was causing massive, massive major stuttering issues. But that has now been fixed with version 1.0.0.5, uh, which is the current build I'm on. Actually, no, because 1.0.0.6 is now out to fix a hot fix that broke something in 1.5, 1.005. Anyway, now that that's been sorted, I obviously I would have played a little clip over me talking about that. But as you can see, like the major FPS issues and because I'm building the highway and all this kind of stuff. And that was the main premise of this video. Now I can finally get it done and finished. So I've had a lot of people in the live streams going bits. How did you put the, you know, where did you figure out how to start the highway or where to start it? I actually come to this location right here. I come here, I got myself a foundation, I just put it straight there, and I built it straight across right there. And then once I had that into place, I literally started placing down the first pieces of the highway from the blueprint. I keep forgetting there's a hard drive down here. Did I get this hard drive? I don't even know if I got it. Friendly? Friendly? Did I get this? I don't think I got this. I did get this. Perfect. Wait, no, I didn't. I need reinforced plates. Oh, there's some right there. That's a lot of concrete because I'm ready for getting ready for this build. Hold, hold, hold. Wait, wait, that wasn't reinforced. Hold on a minute. I got jabated. That said, that was reinforced plates on the floor, but it gave me encased industrial beams. It lied. It lied. Anyway, back to the mission at hand. Mission critical. I want to now get this highway done in three, two, one. And then boop, just like that, it's all been added. I just need to do the supports, which I know still need to be done. I've done it in a lot of, of the other places, uh, but I still need to add a lot of it. But you can tell it is now a floating highway that actually goes all the way around the outside of the map. And as you know, we have one and two rails on either side, one for you know inbound and outbound traffic. And then below, we are going to do the highway that connects uh, underneath here, which is going to be for priority lines. A lot of people think it's going to be for trucks or anything, but no, this is going to be for priority train lines. So these, what this means is if I'm bringing bottled water from the facility, going to a nuclear plant, it's going to go on here because we don't want any fluctuations in, you know, providing water for that place. We want to make sure the throughput is correct and bang on all the time with no limitations to the trains, you know, coming across junctions, stopping, starting and so on. And then, as you know, in the middle, we've got the hyper tube to go through the middle, which I still need to connect up as well. But as of me doing this, we still have the bug that is in the game. So I, the reason I'm you know, not doing this just yet and completing this, I'm waiting for that patch to come out and fix and address the issues. So it goes all the way around the desert. Then it goes past the Spire Coast and then past the Rocky Desert, which, as you can tell, I've already put the supports down for these in this biome. Then through the Golden Coast, 
And then around the grasslands, which you can see in the distance that it does go all the way to the blue crater and just past the turbo fuel plant that we just built. And then goes around the turbo plant and then past the swamp and then back to where we started. And oh boy, this took me 36 hours to get built. And I'm so glad we now have the dimensional depots. Because when I built the highway last time during uh, season two, it actually took me near enough two weeks to get built. But because of the dimensional depots and it's just so much easier to grab items and all that kind of stuff, now that it was all up on tier four, I believe it is, uh, on the unlocks. So we had like level four on the dimensional upload speed and then also the storage capacity. Uh, but normally I would have had a train full uh, of supplies and whatnot. And... Uh, Oh boy, was this so much easier to build. Yeah, there would have been intervals at times uh, of when I was placing all of this. But during that time, I was actually placing the rails down during that as well. A lot of you people was also saying in the comments, bitch, you know you could have put the rails on there. You can, but what you got to think about is, yeah, they would have been able to be on the 5x5 five five, um, train sections, but on the 3 and the 1, it wouldn't have been. But then also you've got to take into consideration when you do put it on the five, you have to create smaller increments when placing it on there, which you would have just been adding more objects to the UE object count and all that kind of stuff. So it just makes it easier to do it this way. But then a good thing as well is that now they've added the, um, uh, where is it? Train signals, where are they? Train signals now can be placed freely anywhere on the track. So do you know when you're trying to make a, uh, and a junction that goes off and then sometimes you've got to delete the track which means any trains that are going to be on this will currently pause whilst you do it well now you can actually just go onto here grab yourself a signal and then splice your track from here let's say you want it to go from this edge of this foundation here so you'll line this up here like this you'll place and now that you put that there it's actually cut the track there as well so now you can just grab that and then turn it into your three wherever you want to go right so from there and turn it outwards so, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually need to go through all of these. Um, but when I built all of this, I did not realize that the block signals and path signals actually are going to require computers. So I actually built a temporary computer manufacturer um, just to throw items into a storage just to make computers. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> But now that I've got this, I need a location where I want to kind of start working on the next project, which is going to be the electronics plant, which I think I'm going to put it in the Spire Coast. And the reason being, because I can, because if you know how to basically allow the throughput to work correctly and sort out your timings for your trains and all this kind of stuff, you can allow anything to be built anywhere. And uh, that can answer a lot of people's questions like, where should I build this? Where should I build that? You can build it anywhere. You just got to make sure you sort out your throughput for your trains. And I think we are going to go for this location. As you can tell, I'm in a little train right now. That's just kind of chewing around the bloody map. And uh, we're currently on the outside. But there has been a little problem with this. I think I might have mentioned it in the last video. It's been like three, four weeks now since I did the last video. So if we actually stop, the problem with my design is uh, you kind of get stuck between here and I can't jump and you get stuck and all this kind of stuff. So that's a little problem. I think I did mention it in the last video, but I've just got to kind of replace that. Uh, but I think I'm going to go here. But what I need to do to bring the items over here will be to... Um, I'm going to need Caterium. I'm going to need Copper. I'm going to need Iron. I'm going to need Quartz. Because I have a plan and I think we can pull it off. Well, I know we can pull it off because we might as well make quick wire. We might as well do the Copper over here. Might do extra cable. We might as well do Quartz. We might as well do Silica. We might do Crystal... Uh, crystal, crystal Oscillators. That's the one I'm looking for. And then we might as well do uh, Computers. So we might as well use the crystal computer alternate recipe. And then we might as well start going a supercomputer out. Might start bringing in, uh, I could bring in some iron. Well, actually we'll need to bring in iron for reinforced plates for the, you know, crystal oscillators. And then we might as well do plates, rods, maybe not screws. And then we might as well look into rotors. So which will allow us to do stators and then also motors as well. So then we can look at what we want to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the train station over this side and then the building for production over on this side. Oh yeah, and I also forgot we might as well bring, because we are going to need the plastic and rubber that we're making in the turbo fuel plant. So I need to get back on my train just to go over there and show you what I mean. And then come back again because that's the way my brain works. 
as I've been singing. Ooh, baby, ooh. I said, ooh. We go. And I've been singing. Ooh. Ooh. So. Right, so the only reason I'm coming over here is just to get a little bit of B-roll B for the plastic and rubber. Because right now, the pack utility mod that I used to fly around the map to get some of this B-roll stuff is not working. So at the minute, I'm currently using the in-game fly one just to capture this. And look how slow this is. It takes ages. It's faster to move on a bloody train. So I'm using this just to capture footage. So here is some footage and some B-roll of me showing you the plastic and rubber. You're welcome. And now I'm going to fly back up here, jump back in the train, reverse, and now show you where I'm going to get the caterium, the copper, the, the, the iron from, and the quartz from. All right, so let me just stop the train here. It just eh, eh, stop the train there. Ah, jump out of the train into fly mode so I can show you which ones I'm grabbing. So here's the copper I'm going to grab. She'll be over there. Ignore the death crits. It's not even coming up. Well, here's the quartz I'm going to grab. Here's the copper I'm going to grab. And then in this spooky cave here, we will find the caterium I'm going to grab. And someone just tried lobbing a pile of dung at me. Oh, it's that guy. Because I'm also going to grab this one here as well. And then just out in the open over here, there should be some iron I can grab from like the central area. And then to the left, just right. There. And then there's more over that way somewhere. Got the sensitive. It's around here somewhere, but I'm not going to look at it because that's just going to make me nauseous and some of you nauseous. So then all I need to do is just grab the copper from up there, grab the quartz from over there, grab the iron from here, grab the caterium from out of there, and put it onto a platform here that has trains connected and a train line that connects to the highway. So after adding some trains, you can see a blue one passing by. I'm stood on a blue one. There's gold ones. There's pink ones. That is because I've now added and optimized and, well, optimized the throughput of the actual lines because if i had a slide off here you can see i've added a little bit of a junction well a turn off at this section here of the train which adds a third line which takes off here and goes over here which is to collect the quartz from the edge of the desert just here like so that comes up into this station where a train passes through grabs it and then goes over the top and then comes back down here works alongside this train and then comes on here and then eventually at the end down here merges that is picking up copper because it's a copper drain this is blue so it's going over to the turbo fuel plant to grab the plastic and rubber and this is where the train actually merges on which is a quartz train so if you see pink trains that's the quartz ones we can see a train up front which i believe is a two carriage which i think that is a caterium train i could be wrong yep that's a caterium one and then we can see another copper one going past as well that's because they're all heading now to the swamp to go and collect all the items I just showed you about a minute ago. And that's because if I quickly fly over here, and if you're wondering how I'm flying so fast, it's because if you crouch jump whilst on top of a train, you actually can sling your shot pretty far. And if you're using the liquid biofuel, you can actually travel pretty far. And I've created this junction here, right here, as you can tell. And I've kind of made this my own little signature here. I kind of like this. It makes it nice and clean, and it just looks gorgeous. Uh, but I've added an overpass which comes over the tracks just so, you know, there's not many, um, you know, intersections here for trains to pass through. Especially if you're coming on this way because it makes no sense. So it comes on and it goes over here and connects back up to this. And then on this side where the turn happens, the turn actually splits off right here and goes straight on, as you can tell by this train. And it makes its way into this tunnel, which I just randomly did. And uh, it kind of works well it's maybe it might be a little bit out of place but i don't know where this design could take us it might design us somewhere up here but the trains come along here and if they're going to be going over to the two stations to the left they'll actually come up here and then they'll come over this and then go over the track and then go into the station that is wanted to pick up so this right here is quartz this is copper and then this over here is the caterium i still need to put the iron down because i've not done that yet but we have three resources now being gathered. So now, 
if I go all the way back to the spire coast, there's been so much running around whilst I'm trying to record this. It's been absolutely... No, 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 no. Give me the train. Thank you. I'm good. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Clap, clap. So now, if we just ride the train and head back to the Spire Coast, I can show you what I've done over that. And like I said, crouch jump like this, and you can go pretty bloody far. And I like doing this all the time. It's more fun. Some people might say, Bitch, why did you use a hyper cannon? Hey, it's fun, but I feel like hyper cannons are old school. It's time for new school. Train gliding. Train surfing. Get with it. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> So if we go over here, we can see I've got three trains down. They've all got resource sinks. If you're wondering why I'm doing resource sinks, because I'm stress testing the throughput of these train lines. So as you can see, yeah, if we go over here, we just want to make sure that all these lines are constantly bringing out 480 because that's what we're bringing in. We always want to make sure we have two belts going into a storage buffer because we want to empty this you know, train storage as fast as possible. And we can see in here, we're bringing in 478. That is not an exact number. I would never really go off that. And uh, you can kind of see now we have this just constantly full. This will constantly keep getting out 480. And we just want to make sure that these lines are constantly going. And these resource sinks are replicating a factory consuming this line. at 100% efficient efficiency. That, that makes more sense. So if this line was being consumed in a factory, a factory line, a bunch of constructors to make, you know, quartz or silica, uh, that's replicating that so we can kind of make sure that these trains are being optimal in their travels here by bringing that over and it's like that with all of these so then once i know that i'm and i'm satisfied with the amount of trains we have per line and the throughput's correct we can then make sure we can then send this off to where it needs to be sent which is going to be on this side of the highway so as you know i was just stress testing all of this i'm probably gonna have to do like a weird cut there maybe um, but I've got all my items coming together, which is the quartz, the caterium, the plastic, the rubber, and so on and so forth. That is all then coming under here. I don't know what this is. I'm just kind of playing around, testing things, and got this little bridge going across here with all my items, which come on an underfloor, which go to these refineries underneath here. And all these refineries are basically just making pure copper ingots and pure caterium ingots. That is all it is doing so we're bringing in 480 caterium down there 480 caterium down there turning them into caterium ingots which work make its way all the way down here where we then are stress testing to see if everything is functional and by all the green lights over here everything is functional and we are making 480 per minute because this side and this side combined make 480 and then these are going to go up onto a second floor to make some quick wire and then over here with the uh copper wire the copper wire the uh copper ingots we're going to do exactly the same so we're bringing in, going to bring all of these down here we're going to stress test them and so on and so forth and we've got three lines here of copper wire and then underneath we've just got everything coming in we've got the pipes coming in which is bringing in the water and then we've got all the ores just coming down a manifold system and then if we go over this side and then look down we should be able to see the water extractors to bring in the water i don't know when i'm going to start the water bottling facility but this right here is just what we're kind of working with right now and then just kind of expand it where need be and so on but this is what we're kind of working with at the minute and this is going to be the start of the electronics factory which is what is currently being built at the minute on the live stream. So if you want to make sure you want to see everything that we've been building, you know, minute by minute, step by step, make sure you go to my YouTube channel. And then when you're on here, just click on the live category here. And then you can see the past live streams uh, all the way from the start of, you know, when 1.0 released. So there's many, 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 many hours. But if you're after any questions or anything, just go into here and let's see what we did on this day. We, we zoomed in. Today, this is me literally placing down what we kind of did in today's video. So placing down the trains and all this stuff, which is bringing in the iron caterium, how I brought in these junctions or made these junctions and uh, yeah, setting up the train line. So if you want to see how we did that, because obviously this video kind of skips portions of that, make sure to check out this channel on... Uh, on the live tab because this is where all the past live streams and it will answer a lot of your things so if you're like wait how did he just build that you can just kind of just look for it look for it in here and uh, and whatnot but anyway back to the game we've now got the copper and caterium and that is probably where we're going to call it for today until we start working on the caterium plant so thank you so much for watching and if you remember if you enjoyed the content remember to like subscribe and also leave a, con uh, a co comment even if it's just a bloody emoji and as always keep smiling and i'll see you in the next video where we start on the electronics.